welcome back to Reading with Leon. Say hi, Leon. Say hi. No, you want to say hi? Well, we are going to read this book. It's called Thomasaurus Rex on the Thomas and Friends. It's illustrated by Richard Courtney and is a random house picture book. I gotta read it. Thomas puffed into the yard after a long day. He saw James and Gordon talking together. When he stopped at the water tower, he could hear everything they said. <gasps> what did they say? Um, he showed in the pictures. <gasps> there, they can see the picture. I'm too important to pull such an ancient load, said Gordon. Yes, replied James. I don't know what James said because Leon keeps closing the book. He'll come here. <laughs> oh. I'm glad they brought that old bucket of bolts into it. The engines are all too fine. I'm surprised he can do anything. He's so old. Well, that makes sense for him to pull that special. The fossils deserve each other, said James. Both of the engines laughed. Ha, ha, ha. Thomas wondered what they were talking about. What were they talking about? Who are they talking about, honey? It's not nice to say mean things. Percy was waiting when Thomas got to the shed. Did you see Stepney, asked Percy? Did you see what his special is? No, but I heard Gordon and James talking about it, answered Thomas. They said it was a lot of old junk. Move that back just a little bit. Oh, hold on. We're not done with the page yet. I think it's kind of neat, said Percy. Don't let them hear you said, say that, said Thomas. They'll tease you, too. And Thomas liked Stepney. Stepney was one of the oldest engines in the whole island of Sodor. He had seen a lot and had interesting stories to tell. Thomas's favorite story was about Sir Topham Hatt as a little boy. Do you like stories about little boys, Mr. Chocolate Face? Got a chocolate pencil. One beautiful day, little Topham, Topham Hat was out for a carriage ride with his grandfather. The horse did something that I don't know because Leon moved a book. Oh. Yeah, the horse was dashing yeah, through yeah, the yeah, countryside. Yeah, yeah. Grandfather Hat saw a rut in the road, but it was too late to swerve. Oh, no. Crack! The carriage's axle was broken. And the horse ran off. Yeah, he was yeah, probably a scared yeah. horse. Nay, yeah, nay, yeah. yeah. Luckily, no one was yes. hurt. But yes. they were a long way from home. Just then, Stepney, a brand new engine, came chugga chugga chug chugga doo doo. Bye. He was pulling a load of coal, so he didn't have any passenger coaches. Oh no, how are they going to ride on the train? Well, we got to show the picture. We got to show the picture. Got to show everybody the picture. See? A broken carriage and a horse running away and they're Stepney. There was only one thing to do. Topham Hat and his grandfather crawled up on the pile of coal and <laughs> off they went. When they got to town, little Topham Hat was covered head to toe in coal dust. He was very dirty and so was grandfather so mother couldn't be cross. They both laughed and had their picture taken. <laughs> Thomas always liked that story. Oh, put our feet down, please. Yay. Thomas always liked that story, and Percy liked it too. It made them laugh to think that Sir Topham Hat was ever that dirty. Yeah. See, oh, we go for Mama. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Bye, Here's that. There's him pulling Mr. Topham Hat, and there's Mr. Topham Hat getting his picture taken. The next morning, Thomas went looking for Stepney. Good morning, sir, said Thomas politely. Well, hello, Thomas, said Stepney. Ow, that hurt mommy, said Stepney. Ow, that hurts mommy. That's not nice. That's not nice, honey. Not nice to hurt people. Well, hello, Thomas, said Stepney with a smile. What do you think of my special? 
Thomas looked at the rock with some bones in it and at the old chest. He didn't want to hurt Stepney's feelings. It sh sure looks old, he stammered. <laughs> it's the oldest thing I have ever pulled, laughed Stepney. Ha, ha, ha. It makes me feel young. The chest is full of gems from Rolf's castle and the days of knights. Nice. And this fossil is from the age of dinosaurs. It is going to be part of the museum there at Kidmouth. And so am I because I am so old, he said proudly. That's cool. Thomas thought about the thought the thing seemed really interesting. But he remembered Gordon and James saying that they were junk. Thomas didn't know what to think. Just then, Sir Topham Hack came to see the engines. Stepney and his special must go to Tidmouth for the museum show, he said. But the hill to Tidmouth may be too steep for Stepney with that valuable special. So someone will need to help push from behind. <gasps> Do you think Thomas is going to push? Yeah, that'd be really cool. Push? I would not push a special made of solid gold, said Gordon, let alone that pile of old junk. I only pull specials, and important ones at that. I don't think we should have to push that special, sir, said James. No, Leon, get down. You're going to fall. Get down, please. Get down, please. Thank you. I don't think we should have to pull that special, Sir and James. Thomas did not want the others to tease him, but he saw that Stepney looked so sad that no one wanted to help him. I will push Stepney special, he quietly volunteered. Think, no, get down, honey, you're gonna fall. No, 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 Sorry, guys. Leon was trying to climb on the table. He could have gotten hurt. Okay. Let's see. We're worried. Thomas had just said that he would push the special. Thank you, Thomas, said Sir Topham Hat. I appreciate it when engines prove that they are really useful. And then he gave Gordon a stern look. Gordon puffed. And James get a cheeky chuckle. <laughs> Better him than us. He said, no, no, no. No. Please get down. You're going to fall. Get down, please. I'll be right get back, guys. Sorry, guys. Liam is unhappy because he almost fell off the table. And he can't get on the table. I told him not to. So he might be a little sad for a minute. So I'll be back as soon as I can. Sorry about that, guys. We got Leon some milk. And we're back in business. So Gordon puffed and James gave a cheeky chuckle. <laughs> Better him than us, he said. Oh, I'm not sure the picture. Thomas pushed the special out of the yard. He heard James call out, Don't let them mistake you for that old junk and send you to the scrapyard. All the way to Tidmouth, Thomas worried about what everyone would say about his old special. He knew the children liked him, but would they think he was just an old fossil when he arrived at the quote-unquote old junk? I think they're going to think he's pretty cool. What do you think, guys? Sorry, it's hot here today, guys. Even with the air on, it feels warm. When they arrived at Kidmouth, there were already lots of interesting things to see. There was a butterfly tent, a petting zoo, a frog exhibit... Thomas helped Stepney onto a special siding that allowed everyone to see the fossil and chest close up. Cool. But no one seemed to notice they were there. And then Thomas heard one boy shout with delight, Look over there! It's Thomas! And he brought a dinosaur! I mean, look at the dinosaur bones. Everyone's going to be really happy, I bet. Soon, Thomas and Stephanie were surrounded. Cool! Wow! Look at that! Thomas had never heard the children so excited. He was excited, too. 
Sir Topham Hatt walked over to them. Thomas was surprised to see that he was dirty. Good work, Thomas, said Sir Topham Hatt. I should have come with you and Stepney, but I got a flat tire. I haven't been this dirty in a long, long time. He laughed. Ha, ha, ha. Do you remember that day on the coal car, Stepney? I sure do, chuckled Stepney. You were a happy little boy, sir, just like these children. They will never forget this day. <gasps> that sounds like so much fun. And neither will I, added Sir Topham Hat. Just then, a man with a camera walked up. He said, everyone smile and say, see me. Look at that picture. That's so exciting. The end. You guys have a good day. Leon's showing everyone his booty. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye, Shelby. -bye. Bye,